Sawadi Krap and welcome to this video of our amazing trip around Southeast Asia. Saskia and I decided to embark on an adventure across Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos. We had an amazing time and would like to share our adventure with you. So let's get started in Thailand. Swadika. Swadika. From Bangkok. Bangkok, USA. I mean, Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs> Bangkok, what a city. The vibrancy, the street food, amazing. And then we headed to Koh Samet, which had unbelievable beaches and we went swimming in the sea and had a blast with it. Where did you get the dress from? <laughs> They're very stylish. Dang COVID. But back in Bangkok, we went on a street food tour in Chinatown. An adventure for the senses this time. We walked through the bustling streets, the smell of sizzling woks and exotic spices filling the air. We saw all the sights, the railway market, the floating market, more street food and a night out. <laughs> Khao Sok National Park in southern Thailand, an amazing place covered by the oldest evergreen rainforest in the world. Huge limestone mountains tower over you. <laughs> I love you from the bottom of my heart. Uh -huh. and, um, wherever we go in the world together, it feels like home is with you. And I want to be with you forever. Carry on our travels together. So, you can't really hear it, but she said yes. Oh, the funny thing with Corinda, or you know, if you like it, you love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. If you don't like it, you yeah. hate it. Yeah. 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 This is it. Finishing stations, Ben Callas is finally putting in some graft. <laughs> you got fritters, what kind of fritters are they? Banana, banana, banana fruit. Banana fruit. It's not banana, but it's banana. Banana fruit. This is mainly for going to get in some amazing tastes and smells there at a cooking class in southern Thailand. Then we headed over to Krabi. After heading up Dragon Mountain, we hit up the stunning coastline and breathtaking islands, including the famous Chicken Island off the coast of Krabi. Then onwards to the delights of Northern Thailand and Chiang Mai. But this area, this park, okay, like 85% uh, 
uh, people that are Christian and Roman Catholic. Oh. Yes. Oh. More the, uh, outside the city, it's like more different religion, not a Buddhism. Mm -hmm. oh. Like the Villa Vigoy, everybody here, like no one Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Everybody are Roman Catholic. We went trekking in the most northerly part of Thailand and learnt about the local village culture, including the Karen and Shan people. Vietnam! We started off in this wonderful country in the northern capital city of Hanoi. What a crazy place. Motorbikes, motorbikes everywhere. What a treat to visit Lan Ha Bay with its emerald green waters, towering limestone casts and secluded sandy beaches. Welcome to Lan Ha Bay, where we are cycling to a authentic traditional village. Aren't we? <laughs> Don't know how authentic it will be. That's where we're off to. place called Halong Bay which is quite close to the capital about two hours from Hanoi and we've been on this boat um, it's like a cruise boat um, that's actually the captain you can see in there um, and yeah look at the amazing landscape though and uh, you can go down here and they have uh, have like a restaurant here and then Gonna go up onto the top deck and see what we can see up here. Do some bathing. Yeah, and then you can see people kayaking. Don't know if you can see them. You can see the people kayaking like down there. And then there's actually people who live on um, these floating markets and they fish for fish for actually a lot of the time they're fishing for squid. actually did some fishing last night where we dipped like a rod up and down the plank so you see the squid and then you have to try and like catch the squid with the hooks. Our next stop was Ninh Binh, another hidden gem in Vietnam with its natural beauty. Located in the Red River Delta, it's known for its stunning landscapes, lush rice fields and ancient temples. There I am! We are from Vietnam and today we are at a big temple complex. It's the biggest in Vietnam and We've just had a walk all around here. Um, we haven't learned that much about the history, but we know that uh, this area of Vietnam was where the ancient kings used to rule Vietnam from and try and stop the Chinese and Mongols coming down from the north. Um, we've walked around here. A huge pagoda, they call it, up there. It's actually three in a row. Um, and all over there's lots of Buddhas and statues, and there's some horses here who I think represent the knights that used to uh, protect the realm. They said this would 
Like touristy, yeah. man. And then the 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 We were tourists in Hoi An in central Vietnam, which is famous for its lantern lit streets, adding a touch of whimsy and romance to its captivating ambiance. The town comes alive in the evening with a sea of colourful lanterns, casting a soft glow and creating a truly mesmerising sight. Hello, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas in Vietnam. I uh, hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, it's a bit of a time difference, we might struggle to catch you um, today, but I hope you're all having a lovely time. Um, you might notice <laughs> we have our matching shirt size. <laughs> that's what you do here in Hoi An in Vietnam, is you get things tailored, and all of the um, people around here all have, seem to have matching shirts, anyway, all the tourists do. So anyway, I hope... Um, you will get some lovely uh, presents um, and uh, look forward to speaking to you at some point. Hope you have a really, really nice day. Lots of love. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I had to show you this place. Look how cool this is. It's like a massive cave. And we're inside it. And then there's loads of like temple things that look up here. Look up, that's like the ceiling up there. See that? That's where the lake comes in. And then they've got all this cool stuff. This guy. There's Saskia. Wave. Look at this little, little place inside a cave. After a wonderful New Year's party in Vietnam, we headed to Cambodia. We went to see the kitty cats at a kitty cafe, that wasn't my idea. And then we went to a butterfly farm, which actually was my idea. Welcome to the awe-inspiring Angkor Wat, an architectural masterpiece on one of the world's most renowned ancient temples. Located in Siem Reap, Cambodia, it's a magnificent temple complex that dates back to the 12th century. It was originally built as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu, but later transformed into a Buddhist temple. Its towering spires, intricate carvings and sprawling grounds left us in awe of its grandeur and artistic beauty. I'm now in an ancient city that was built in the 12th century in Cambodia and it's a bit like being in Tomb Raider, in fact the actual film Tomb Raider uh, which um, was made about maybe 10-15 years ago, that was filmed in one of these temples and it's absolutely incredible, look at this. It's like I'm going back in time. Ooh, look. And that's in the middle of the jungle. You can see the jungle out there. We've just been walking around and then 
Now we're here. We then volunteered at a very special charity, CLO. Hello, I'm here in rural Cambodia with Sovan, who runs Children's Legacy Organisation. It's a small uh, charity um, which does some great work. Welcome to Laos, a land of tranquility and natural beauty nestled right in the heart of Southeast Asia. A land of landscapes, majestic mountains and vibrant cultural heritage. Here we are on what we believe is one of the cheapest hot air balloon rides in the world. I didn't realise I had vertigo until I got up there. A remote boat journey through the hidden villages of the Mekong Delta in Laos was a highlight of our trip to Southeast Asia. We had the chance to sit back, relax and explore the off the beaten path communities and witness the daily lives of locals. And then party a little bit. We went back to Thailand because we loved it so much and Saskia's family came to visit us, which was wonderful. We volunteered at a dog sanctuary and fell in love with a couple of the dogs. Went to an elephant nature park and saw the beautiful beasts roaming around. Before we knew it, the incredible journey and adventure through Southeast Asia had come to a close. From the bustling streets of Bangkok to the serene beaches of southern Thailand, the ancient wonders of Angkor Wat and the hidden gems of Laos, this journey had left us with an unforgettable experience and profound appreciation for the beauty and diversity of this corner of the world.